Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today is a Clone War. Um, we're here inside because it's winter in the New Zealand. Outside it's raining. So we're here in the living room. But yes, guys, other than that, we are here for a Clone War. Another uh, very interesting house. I want, I've been wanting this house for a long time. I finally got my first ever Alexandria fragrances. Royal Equestrian is inspired by the Parpom de Mare Layton. Let's jump into this. The opening of Alexandria Royal Equestrian is different from the Layton Parpom de Marley because this is more um, lavender and green apple type, the, the background of the cardinom, carnations, and all the rest. While the Layton is creamier, vanilla, cardinom, lavender, and green apple, it's creamy. But the um, the Alexandra Royal Equestrian is different, guys. It's it's brighter. It's kind of like fresh lavender and green apple opening. That's the difference. After that, maybe like 10 to 10 minutes to 20 minutes, all the opening will go to the box set and it becomes a spot on of Leighton Parfum de Marley. But it's still, um, it really, it's, it, don't get me wrong, it's really a spot on it's really a spot on smell guys but there is that sting of the apple you know and plus the black pepper that's the only that's the only difference in that that the, the dry down 98 percent similar to the Layton. very similar guys but the the um the sting of the green apple is still there while while the while the Layton guys is dry down of the Layton, when in two hours until 13 to 14 hours, this it stays the same. The, the creamy vanilla cardamom sandalwood in the background of the background of all those floral, the carnation, the neroli, the jasmine. But the um while the Royal Equestrian guys is still there, not like the creaminess of the um, Layton, but don't get me wrong, it's spot on, it's same. Oh, the question is, is this the killer or a nah? Nah, part of me wanna say yes, it's a killer, but part of me will say no. So today we will just say that no, nah, this is not this is not a killer guys because the smoothness of opening is very different than the Layton. The, the opening is more smoother, um, but, uh, lavender and green apple on all those background of vanilla and cardamom is just in the background of the opening. And it's the, the dry down guys is different again. There is the so good creaminess, but the sting of green apple is still there. So the different is more the different is the opening. And the dry down is more like 98% is spot on. But guys, the problem here is the longevity again. The performance, it doesn't project as good as Layton guys. It's project well like uh, you can fill up the room 
but the late one is beast mode this is maybe just the monster mode the salad is really good but not as good as the salads of Layton as well and the longevity guys I could not smell this on 11 11 to 12 hours it's just an skin scent after that maybe this is a 10 hours and become a skin sense after 11 to 12 these guys will last forever project and project and project and you can still smell it until 12 to 13 to 15 to 16 hours will last the whole freaking day so this is not the killer guys the opening and the performance is not it but this is more smoother than the Layton this is more um, creamier vanilla cardamom plus the sting of black pepper in the dry down but this guys is smoother more versatile and even unisex so that's the only difference but as a fragrance itself it's not a killer and that is me guys if you don't like this review if you are a hardcore fans of alexandra please put they comment down below and we will just chat and listen to each other. That is me, Patrick T. This is Patrick T saying all the time. It's not how you look. No, no, no. It's always how you smell. God bless and peace out.